Host A wants to send data to host B. At first we see what happens if the path MTU, that is the smallest MTU on the way from A to B, is unknown to the sender. The Ethernet network to which host A is attached has an MTU of 9000 bytes because jumbo frames are allowed. Host A sends a data packet with 9000 bytes payload data to router R1. The MTU of the Ethernet link between R1 and R2 is smaller than the size of the data packet because it is 1500 bytes. Therefore, the packet is fragmented in router R1. The PPPoE connection of R2 to host B has an MTU of 1492 bytes. The fragmented packets are again fragmented in router R2 prior to being forwarded to the destination host B. In the next example, the procedure to determine the smallest MTU is used, the so-called path MTU discovery. The sender sets the don't fragment bit in the IP header abbreviated as DF. Host A sends again a packet with 9000 bytes via the Ethernet connection to router R1. The router would be required to fragment the packet because the MTU on the Ethernet link to router R2 is just 1500 bytes. Since the DF bit is set, the packet is dropped by the router. The router generates an ICMP message, fragmentation needed and DF set, and provides this message back to the source. In the message, it indicates the MTU of the Ethernet link as 1500 bytes. As a consequence, the source reduces the packet length to 1500 bytes, sets again the DF bit and sends the packet to router R1. R1 forwards the packet to R2. Since the MTU of the PPPoE connection is smaller than 1500 bytes, R2 would be required to fragment the packet. Because the DF bit is set, the router drops the packet and sends an ICMP message, fragmentation needed and DF set, back to the source. It indicates the MTU size of the PPPoE connection as 1492 bytes. In the following, host A sends a packet with a length of 1492 bytes. The packet is now small enough to reach the destination without the need to be fragmented. Since the source does not receive further ICMP messages, it has determined the path MTU of the connection to B and sends the remaining data to host B in packets of this size.